we all, if she ain't have a girlfriend, or that girl didn't have a girlfriend, Juan, we didn't go. Juan, That's let, what me I'm give to tell you. let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Go ahead, give us your stories, because you probably got a lot. First off, <laughs> y'all had the tiniest school in the league. Right? Mm -hmm. With the most all with the most championship bags. That's not my all point. All I, boys, I, I, I'll, all give, I'll give you all all credit for all your basketball accolades. I'll never pull those back from anyone. You accomplish, you accomplish it. But this that what my point has zero to do with basketball accomplishments. Highly educated young men. I'm talking about after the game, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to avoid those girls. Mm -hmm. No, right? no, there is no avoidance. Just, we're not trying to avoid. Oh, well, you, uh, we are. Uh, well, engaging. we're going to talk about. We're gonna, you know why? So now we're talking you know about it. Because so what happened? So give me an example. The right? game's over. The game's so over. And then what happened? Engaged. So then what happened? So, so give me an example. We had we had some friends from a, a neighboring high school. Right? The Goretti Gorillas. No, holla at. Oh, holla at. Right Interracial dating. No, I mean it was it was some sisters there. Okay, well, I'll, yeah, we'll give you the story. There. I mean, it, it just, again, we had girls that came to the end. We moved in packs like wolves, bro. You were wolves. Like, moved in packs. Like, in other words, we after the game, if, if I meet a girl, then it's like, yo, where your friend? Okay. Do your friend got a friend? Okay. That helped us kind of, like, lean on each other so that we can understand through that process of how to handle this situation. So while, you were, while you were maneuvering right. um, and getting to know young ladies, you were, you were sharing notes yeah. and being supportive of one another. Of course. And that's what, and that goes back and to so even that. So what's the, what's the problem with with, with Zion? What did he? What, I mean, we don't what know. I'm what I'm saying to you is, is that maybe he doesn't have that support system because right. of the fact he is who he is. Once you get to a certain level, you can't tell a dude that's making a hundred million how to talk or go with a girl or what to do or how to do. He, he stopped listening to all that. So what I'm saying is, I don't know Zion's situation, but my personal opinion is, if you don't have that inner circle. Right, do, do you mean to tell me that not one time while you were in high school did you have two young ladies arguing over your interests? Not one time? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure so we have. I, I can't remember, but I'm no, sure we no have. No two young ladies were ever in, in the, the ability to cross each other's paths to know that there was an. What, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what we had, okay. what, what we <laughs> did have... Listen, you know, you I'm gotta, saying, what we did have that a lot. A good, good. I'm saying, what we did have that a lot of cats don't be having is is is, is tribal support. Like in other words, <laughs> tribal support. Tribal support. Oh, tribal. tribal support. Like this, okay. this my guy. So it's okay. kind of like if I meet a girl and she she feeling me, I'm not leaving him. You would. You leave everybody. <laughs> really? <laughs> everybody. You're out. Taking gone. Shots. Taking, Taking shots. Gone. <laughs> Taking shots. Gone. Right. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving until I find out show. if she got somebody for, for my people at that age. Well, you know what I would still, do? What would you do? I didn't come out the locker room. The reverse happened. My guys would say, you missed him. He already left. He didn't come in the locker room. He went straight. Because well, you know after the game, yeah. the, 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 uh, the, everybody else is still in the gym. Right. And we shake hands and then we just go straight out. We're out first. Right. So you, you, they wouldn't know if you hit the parking lot or if you went in the locker room. Right. And so you, you know it. Y'all played at uh, West, yeah, where I was at in my senior yeah. year. Yep. So you, you come up those steps. Well, y'all would go the opposite way. Right. But our locker room was at the exit. We would go to locker room, right. and then the exit door is right there. Yeah. So if you're first out. Well, the question is, what, what were you doing that you had to set up an escape plan? Well, there was no escape plan. My point is. The very off times you would have a lot of young ladies right. who were interested in getting your attention. Right. And you right. weren't interested in going and, and maybe you don't you, you to prevent cat fights. Okay. Why you are make they fighting? Okay, so he Why wouldn't he, it? No, he no, so <laughs> this is what this 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 is what he had going on. He he had there situations before the game. Before <laughs> they ain't meet nobody, he, he knew them all already. <laughs> And then Tanisha and then all to the game. game once. No, so I, he, he got the back. He got us. He got us. <laughs> and they said, "Well, we're all out. We don't know where yet." Listen, we got you. You had a different experience than this. Yeah, because y'all, y'all saw boys. And, and then and we I still mean, had boys guys waiting. Nah, but y'all had y'all had some of the baddest women. See, though. Uh, oh, we not, definitely had guys. We lost the direction. We lost the direction. We got going there. He lost me. He definitely got to take a shot for that one. But but yeah, you you. You guys had females. We we didn't. So when we would go on a road, it was it was the best thing for us to interact. 
because we didn't have an opportunity. Well, even and then at you, home. But, but, even at home. but our right, home right. games, but I'm saying, he interacting with women all day. So Keisha and Pam, he already didn't mess with somebody at third, fourth period, <laughs> and now they come into the game, and now he told her one thing, and she got a ticket, True so indeed. now he got to escape. True he, indeed. He got something different, else going a, on. A I, I can see it. I can different see experience. it. Different experience. Different yeah, experience. Yeah, so yeah. I, th I think, again, go, head back to Zion to close him out and, and move forward. I, I think that inner circle is, is like the absolutely most important thing for any athlete. You know, especially professional basketball players. So what do you have going on now, uh, Stevens? We working on any ideas? Uh, this is this is a brainchild of mine, um, and it's been something I've been wanting to do, um, and just be able to to give a, a an outlet of real basketball conversation. Right. right. You know, not uh, filtered or sponsored by the cloud or, or the powers that be overhead, you know, as, as some of these we situations. We will accept you know. sponsorship. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, sponsorship don't have nothing to do. We absolutely <laughs> Sponsorship don't have nothing to do with, yeah. though, being able to, to sit here and chop it up over some real basketball and, right. and just get real perspective. Um, so that's, you know, that's one of the things, and I'm, I'm involved in, in always giving back to the youth and making sure that the things that I got, you know, that are not necessarily... Um, staples in today's mm -hmm. society as far as, you know, I had OGs, Claude Gross. Yes, sir. You know what Thank I'm you. saying? Um, you know, Rest in peace. T. Yeah, Shields. That T. Shields. You know, I, I had OGs that navigated me through a lot of these things, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I know we wrapping up Zion, but Zion, John Morant, you see a lot of these young mm -hmm. guys. Shout um, out to Rep Curry. You know, Rest in peace. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, who have, are having some of these issues that need this ideology of, of village, you know, helping them transition you and know, go through these things. You know what, Steve, I just realized we, we were doing play-by-play um, and -play -in color commentary. Yeah, we were. Um, uh, high school basketball. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did, we did we cover Purvis Ellison's yes. high school. Yes, team. we did. Yeah. 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 Nervous Purvis. Yeah. You know, so this, this was, this was uh, in the making. That's you know, been, long, that's been long, some time ago. We've been yeah. talking about getting around to doing, that's, that. That was some time ago. Great, great things always take time, right. you know. So mm -hmm. we're here now, and, and now we we making this move. So those those are the things that, you know, I'm in. I'm in education, you know. Oddly enough, I think they all kind of go hand in hand, right? You know. Mm -hmm. What you got? What you got on the on the? Um, what's, mean, what's next for you, Justice? What uh, you got on your plate? I mean, right now I'm in I'm in transition. I mean, I've been in Miami 13 years. Okay. Uh, the event planning started kind of like when basketball was over. I okay. guess like early 30s. Right. Um, again, I had my son early. Right. So my son at the time was high school, in high school. So I'm like trying to get him straight. So I kind of gave up mine because I didn't really see NBA right. at 31. It, it right. wasn't happening. Right. And to just keep going overseas wasn't making sense. Right. So I just went to work, put my degree to work. I had a degree in recreation and started working with uh, youth. Started basketball camps. Right. Um, and in Miami, I, I just started doing event planning. I feel like... How'd you end up in Miami? Uh, Russell. Okay. Russell Butler. Russell Butler was drafted uh, to the Heat 2002. Okay. Uh, I think it was the 53rd pick, mm -hmm. second round. And uh, he was there. And at the time, um, Ed Pinkney. Shout out to Ed Pinkney. Okay. Villanova. Without, yeah, without Ed Pinkney. Championship. Yeah, 85, right? Yep. Yeah, without Ed Pinkney... Um, and obviously, Rasul getting drafted, I, I would have never been in Miami. Because Ed invited me down to a pro-am. Okay. And Rasul was there. So it was a combination of two. That got, but but Rich Pinkney is, is retired by that Ed, time, right? Ed Pinkney is coaching. Pinkney was coaching in Miami? Uh, uh, Ed Pinkney coached in the league, what, 15 years? I don't know. Yeah, really yeah, I, yeah, I think he might it. still be yeah, in the league. He might still be in the league. Okay. Yeah, he was in Miami coaching for about, I, I, I would guess, from 2002 all the way to like almost 10. He yeah, excited at a summer camp. Yeah, yeah, I recently yeah, saw a picture of all of those Villanova guys right. at the Vegas yep. Summer League. Okay. Yeah, so Ed Pinkney was a huge, uh, a huge uh, uh, person that uh, came into my life and, and, and just pushed me and said, hey, look, man, just come down here. Okay. You know, and, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, right. Jay. So, oh, Jay. you know, yeah, I got down there and, and I played well. I think at the time, the pro am, it was like me and Roger Bell. And, okay. Uh, Carlos Arroyo. Okay. Little point guard. And Roger Bell played for the Sixers. Roger Bell played for the Sixers. Okay. Yeah. So it was just kind of like it, it, it was looking like something was 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 gonna happen. Okay. I was playing well, um, but that didn't work out. 
And so now the event planning. Is, yeah. You, you, you got a lot of going on there. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've I've visited and yeah yeah and yeah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've enjoyed yeah. the uh, yeah. the Some festivities fruits. and the fruits yeah. the fruit the yeah. fruits of the event planning. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the event planning is is, is 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 a wonderful thing. It, it still gives me the opportunity to create. Okay. I think we're all here to create. You know, I think you're you're, you're one of the most creative guys. I was I was creative, and it, it it allows me to create vibes for people to enjoy. Right. Um, and if I can do that, and obviously get paid from it. You know why not? And I'm in the sunshine state, so you can't. You can't yeah, be good. just can't that's be the good. short version. Oh, yeah, I, I could go on and on, but it's just kind of like that's that's it in a, in, a, in a in a in a summary. And now I'm in transition to doing more um, Afro beats, more I'm a piano, South African music, okay, more influential music uh, to push out to the people. Anything new on the horizon with uh, television? We know you did Ready for Love. Uh, oh yeah, Ready to TV. Love. Yeah, Ready to Love. Uh, uh, I filmed last year. Okay, and uh, it was on uh, throughout the winter. Uh, it, it was a good experience. I mean, no, but, guys, but you did a reality guys. TV show prior to that, though, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a shot? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is that a soft spot? Yeah. That, We're uh, going to revisit that. Looked, that. that looked like yeah. he wanted to, right. yeah. the lily pad cool. we wanted to jump over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Back. I'm glad I went yeah. there because I was waiting. Now I'm remembering. See? It's coming back to see? It's coming back. He had a little... Um, I don't remember uh, it. Uh, uh, outfit so mismanagement moment. I don't know anything about I'm, I'm that. mad that he's too excited about it. Like, I'm not, I, 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 I don't even know anything about it. I don't know nothing about it. Shout out to 25 years seasons of Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk yeah. about let's talk about Big Bro. That, that's it. It's 25 years. First black man on let's, uh, United States Big let, Brother. Let, 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 let's say this uh, about you. Well, and I, I'll say this personally. You've been an integral part of me and Al's life since we were teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not as, as, you know, as much as for Al because he's family, but when we all would get around and stuff like that, I think when you did the Big Brother, like, we, we were in shock to see you on yeah. TV. You know what I'm saying? That was that was good for us to have mm -hmm. uh, in our future, and I think that, you know, for me to see somebody that was in our circle hit television, it, it kind of like, maybe subconsciously, Maybe okay. you want to be like TV's dope. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I, I thank you for that. Okay, I bro. Appreciate okay. it. Now talk to us Good. about the Big Bro, man. So, what was that about? What Big Bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm back. To, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm gonna come back to Big Brother, yeah. but you just sparked something for me. Okay, when you told your Ed Pinkney story. Ed Pinkney. Yeah. But then we got to get to these shots. Yeah. Right. I had the same kind of idea with, like Mike. Okay. So I already had the the introduction into the uh the the world of television and film and my agent sent me something for like mike she said listen just go down there and make a you know just be an extra yeah, 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 yeah. right make i'm like basketball i'm not an extra in anything <laughs> basketball i'm like cool i got it yeah. what my agent doesn't know is that we have an unofficial basketball fraternity yeah. We yeah. all yeah. know someone or two people yeah. or know someone who yeah. knows two people. I'm like, if if I get around this basketball thing, mm. I'm going to know somebody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Got on that set. Mm. Went from posing to being an extra. Mm -hmm. Bow wow. <laughs> you make, look, psh, mm. I'm going to be on the floor. Right. <laughs> right. Otherwise, right. I'm not right. going to be around the basketball. Right. Yeah. If I'm not coaching yeah. or playing, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not there. Yeah. Big brother. Um. Just quickly, I didn't know Big Brother was a television show mm. uh, at the, fir the first time I heard about it because uh, there was a Carter and Sanborn. I don't remember you Carter and remember Sanborn, them. They were know. dick, uh, dick yeah, jockeys, radio, film, radio right? Guys, yep. yeah. And they were um, either them or somebody else on the show kept doing these outlandish challenges where he would um, broadcast mm. and live on top of restaurants. Mm. So he was doing a broadcast on top of TGI Fridays mm. on City Avenue where AI used to always hang out, yep, right? Yep. And when I heard the advertisement, I said, oh, you know, who, who can live in a house for 90 days straight? Mm. I thought it was a challenge, mm. like what he was doing on the radio. I thought it was a radio oh, challenge. Radio. Okay. And I just fill out the it's application. Promoted. And by the time I got midway through the application, I'm like, Oh, this is a television show, mm -hmm. but the the application was so long. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I might as well f finish filling it out, mm -hmm. and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Kudos to Big Brother. 
So let's take some shots. We're going to yeah. take some shots. Um, and we'll be right back. Shot of the day. Beautiful, crispy tequila. And uh, for right now, we are going to have the crispest, most beautiful. Smells like a beautiful woman. A drunk Something. woman. <laughs> not my woman. <laughs> not my woman. But yeah. this is... this need to stay out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the late night bar somehow smells like a this woman. Is, this, this